You're watching RT. Let's now return to one of our top stories. And Tuesday marks 10th anniversary of the NATO bombings of Serbia during the Kosovo War, which killed hundreds and forced thousands to flee. The debris of the conflict still litters the ground, including spent, depleted uranium shells. This has raised concerns about the long-term environmental impact of the fighting. For more on the topic, I'm now joined by Dr. Yasmina Vujic from the Department of Nuclear Engineering at Berkeley University of California. Uh, Dr. Vujic, thank you very much for being with us here in the program. Now, first of all, uh, tell us how toxic is depleted uranium? Uh, thank you very much for having me. It's very important to make people aware about the possible environmental and health consequences of depleted uranium. Depleted uranium is uh, uh, chemically toxic uh, and mildly radioactive. So uh, as external radioactive source, it is not that dangerous. However, in the case with, when it is spread uh, all over you know, the land and in water, it can contaminate people and plants. Then it is, uh, from my point of view, dangerous. Um, for example, during the NATO bombing in 1999 uh, in Kosovo, about uh, 30,000 rounds of depleted ammunition was used and several thousand in southern Serbia. Each of these penetrators has about 300 grams of depleted uranium. Having in mind uh, the amount, it's probably about 10,000 kilograms in Kosovo and um, maybe up to 2,000 kilograms in southern Serbia and from 94-95 in Bosnia as well. UN teams uh, went uh, several times over the last uh, 10 years to visit and what is surprising for them that after one, two and seven years uh, from the bombardment uh, they found uh, depleted uranium on the ground, in the air and in drinking water meaning that people, animals, and plant, plants are exposed to uh, effects of depleted uranium. Dr. Vujic, also, uh, now that you've mentioned that, that after seven years uh, there were still some uh, uh, you know, residue remnants of depleted uh, uranium uh, there, there have been claims that the cancer rate in Serbia has increased dramatically as a result. So do you think is there any solid link between the use of depleted uranium and cancer? Uh, we do have data that over the last 10 years, um, um, different cancer rates dramatically increased in Serbia. Uh, and uh, having in mind that in addition to depleted uranium, uh, uh, there were all kind of uh, petrochemical and chemical and mercury pollutants that were released during the bombings, uh, particularly uh, so-called POPs or uh, uh, very dangerous uh, chemicals that are forbidden by Stockholm Convention. So all these effects might have contributed, but also, particularly in southern Serbia, we don't have data for Kosovo because uh, there is no access there, uh, show that uh, uh, contamination by depleted uranium could cause consequences. I might mention that in the scientific papers that I read um, uh, from Italian authors and scientists, that there is significant increase in uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma on the soldiers, Italian soldiers that served in Kosovo uh, during the and after aftermath of bombing. So uh, there could be connection, although medical community still is discussing about it. Well, you also mentioned uh, some of the environmental consequences of uh, this conflict, but uh, in your opinion, in the opinion of a scientist, how long will it take uh, to get over those environmental problems? Uh, basically, uh, what is going on with penetrators, those that exploded and burst, uh, uh, created a lot of dust that was inhaled uh, by the uh, people uh, that were very close to explosions. The dust is still found in the, some of the buildings and in the air. Also, the penetrators that were not um, exploding, uh, that were in the ground on the surface, what UN teams found is that they corroded heavily, meaning that they're spreading uh, the uh, contamination around. 
Uh, and uh, what is uh, extremely important is to proceed with decontamination and finding of the penetrators. Over the last 10 years, uh, Vinci Institute in Belgrade and their teams were able to find and decontaminate areas for about uh, maybe 200 penetrators, but there were 30,000 of those, so 90% of more are still in the ground, and they need to be found. The soil needs to be decontaminated. Uh, drinking water needs to be tested, and uh, there is no money for that. So United Nations team, one of uh, uh, their recommendation was that the international community must find funding to continue the contamination, to continue tests, and to basically follow up, having in mind that a half-life of uranium-238 is 4.5 billion years, so that depleted uranium is there to stay. This indeed uh, is a very uh, alarming, Dr. Voyage. Uh, well, in light of what you just uh, said, uh, let, let's just briefly talk about this. Now, there are rules of conduct in warfare, such as, for example, the Geneva Convention. Now, do you think there should be a treaty on fighting environmentally responsible wars? It is exactly what, uh, why we are uh, raising this awareness, because uh, uh, the countries in conflict um, use all kind of warfare without actually uh, thinking about long-term environmental consequences of the population of those countries. And uh, during the bombing of uh, Serbia and Montenegro, uh, 150,000 of uh, uh, oil and 400,000 of kerosene burn um, many tons of mercury went underground and released all kind of carcinogenous uh, chemicals. Um, so there must be, in addition to Geneva Convention on Warfare, it must be Convention on Long-Term Consequences of War on the Environment. In particular, um, there is no reason to bomb uh, petrochemical, chemical, and uh, energy type of uh, uh, facilities because they will cause uh, uh, disastrous consequences long term. In addition, uh, I personally would like to have depleted uranium banned from the ammunition. There are different ways to use different type of heavy metals, yes. but not depleted uranium. All right, uh, Dr. Vujic, thanks very much indeed for sharing your views with us. That was Yasmina Vujic from Berkeley University of California.